I just initiated uh, initiated a paper trade. I'm watching it Boeing right now, and this is for uh, January uh, January 10th, which is a Monday. I started at uh, 9:34. The interesting thing about the the difference in, in what I present to the market right now is clearly evident. Uh, before there was a thing called fear of missing out that what that caused me to enter uh, prematurely. Now I'm looking at the current situation. I'm looking at the Nasdaq. I'm also looking at the Dow Jones. And for today, it is uh, uh, and the VIX is climbing. Currently on the uh, on the Boeing side, uh, this is the VWAP. Anytime the current price is below the VWAP, it means it's bearish. Even if it climbs up, most likely it'll the VWAP will now uh, act as resistance. And so this is essentially what what this uh, is portraying to the the. the the stock world is that from open to at a certain point, there is a dramatic move in reflecting the current uh, uh, price discovery. It's called price discovery. So I created a little landmark here, timeline uh, at about 10, 10 to 10 to 10, 10 to 11 o'clock. It's it's when it. Uh, achieves an inflection point, and in most cases, when the uh, when the when the when the validity of, of the current movement uh, strengthens, and at this point, between between ten o'clock uh, Mountain Time and somewhere around eleven o'clock. If the movement is somewhere around uh, medium level, uh, this one is actually a drawdown right now. If it's medium, it should settle somewhere around here. But if the strength is significant, it is possible it's going to reach all the way up to uh, possibly at about uh, uh, maybe two hours before close. That's where most of the energy that is uh, that is triggering this movement to subside uh, sufficiently. If the movement is dramatic, it is possible that the decline will continue to the end of the day. So the reality of uh, intraday day trading is that um, the there is always a over there's there's there is a statistical probability that many of uh, most of the movements that occur within intraday is exaggerated even if even if the next two or three days the market declines it is possible that that today the movement is such that it has an accentuated form where it actually is beyond the point where the end of day price uh, will be most uh, on a statistical basis be above where the low of the day is. So if I were to describe a daily candle, what would trigger is a wick at the bottom. That's what normally happens. But in extreme cases where uh, uh, extreme cases where the movement is so severe that it carries over to the end of the day then the week is non-existent that is a highly that is a highly bearish candle that's what it, that's that's what's indicating which means that it is possible it's going to continue the same movement and the trend will most likely continue to the next day now in Boeing here, it is exhibiting that it is it wants to rebound, and it is possible at this stage before uh, eight eight thirty that it wants to 
come back up. But if it if this turns out to be a double bottom, it'll 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 come back. Uh, the Dow now is reflecting that it is about to uh, it is about to turn around. The Nasdaq here is has been severely compromised, and this little blip here is an example of a bearish signal. Uh, green candle and red candle. This red candle is 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 signaling a further decline. The Dow Jones it looks like it is actually coming back, and then, uh, uh, Boeing is part of the Dow Jones. And so it is possible if this leg continues, <clears throat> uh, this this may turn out to be a uh, return to uh, bullish condition. So I'm waiting until I see this, but it looks like already that it is it is moving moving up. That's what it looks like, based on this candle here, that little little candle right there, that red candle. That is reflecting. Okay, so now it is rebounding. It's coming back with a vengeance. Now it's reached the VWAP. And if it stays above that, it could clearly transform itself into a uh, bullish condition. But that right there is signaling that there's uh, further downside. And apparently what happened was there were people who are selling, profit taking, came back up, and then now more ensuing uh, sell selling that's going on right here. And if it drops, if this thing drops below here, uh, we could see some serious downtrend here. So approximately at this point, I'm looking at uh, 2092 to 208. So that's approximately a dollar move right there, one dollar. So I'm watching before I get in. I want to make uh, so this is this has already signaled that oh see now uh, Dow Jones is essentially in a free fall at this stage right there. So this will clearly indicate that there's a further downside here because essentially here is the low and it achieved a lower low. So we're gonna see here. Wait a little bit before I make a single trade. It is possible it's going to jump up and then jump up and jump up like that. See that right there. And the VIX is climbing. Uh, now some uh, a little bit of the VWAP is showing signs of uh, slowing down its decline. Um, what I can do is I can buy now and put a, a limit order. Uh, however, based on the Dow, it looks like it's possibly going to be a a down day. Um, so essentially, essentially, Boeing is down. What's that like five dollars? Boeing is down five dollars at this point. See that Boeing is down five dollars. Oh, six dollars right now. So this is a significant move. This this is telling me that it is it's, it's an ugly day day and most of the stocks are red that further further supports supports the thesis that it's going to get even worse uh, I might consider like buying a put on this day because that's generally what the trend is if I were to look for the positive so I'm looking at here so if I were to consider a reversion trade I might be losing some money here so what I would need to do is see is like bounce this reach here and then bounce back up. And then one way to make sure is if the rebound is actually above this, that means that there's a chance that it could uh, become uh, a, a, a bullish trade. But based on, based, wow, I see, clearly I see something different about my trading now. I see it. Before, before I would just go, oh my God, look at that, it's red. It's gonna uh, reverse in trading. I should just get in. So I get in here, I start losing. That's what I would do. I, I, there's a clear, clear uh, difference right now. So this is also uh, supporting right here. Um, and the fact that it's behaving this manner in this manner 
um, it is it, maybe it's possible that it's going to uh, recover but we'll see so steep decline and a smoothing out at this point that smoothing out could further signal a downside and the way that the stock moves is that when it moves it moves um, meaning that uh, making a five dollar six dollar drop uh, is just portion of what its possibility so right now I see that the uh, Dow Jones has stabilized in its price NASDAQ has stabilized in its price price and then the NASDAQ uh, VIX has stabilized now what I can do is if I wanted to I could get in right now so I'm looking at Boeing and I'm gonna get into a call I'm gonna get into a call and I put a stop loss on there this is simulation so it does not have up-to-date information okay it's buffering so I get here all right so I bought it okay I bought it so I'm in so I'm in now I'm going to if I look at the charts see that it's still signaling so I may have entered prematurely I thought that this the this little signature would be a uh, reversal it's still it's below uh, before 830 which means that there was a possibility that it could have it could have uh, I could have waited a little bit longer and that's this may signal a further drastic decline so now what I would do is I will set up see I'm already down 20 bucks so now I'm going to set my stop loss and I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a two to one so I bought it at 615 drop about 50 which is going to be about six uh, 550 550 right there and that's gonna be a stop loss and then uh, one dollar from there so it's gonna be seven so it's gonna be seven I'm not sure if it's gonna hit I may get stopped out see right there I may get stopped out but that's the that's the way that I set and uh, already already uh, it's exhibiting exhibiting a bearish condition I may have entered uh, too early because it may still be the front side I make it I may I may lose this one it's still coming down I may have entered too early and most likely that's what's gonna happen see the fix is climbing the Dow Jones is declining and that is just signaling a, a triangle looks like to a further uh, further downside and the stock is down about roughly about six dollars right now uh, approximately about seven dollars now it's down seven dollars stock is down about seven dollars and normally the way that the uh, uh, normally what happens is that uh, price discovery occurs price discovery occurs um, see the way that I drew here so price discovery occurs from here to here that's when the world wakes up to the current situation and that's where uh, that in, 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 in most cases where the news is not as severe as as it seems and that's why price discovery looks at it gains traction on its value and stabilizes within this window here if, if it's more severe then it's possible that the uh, the bottom will be reached at this point um, currently Dow has climbed back a little bit VIX has declined uh, NASDAQ uh, this is a uh, Boeing which is part of the Dow component which means it's behaving similar to uh, similar to what the Dow Jones is doing and sure enough here this this green candle is showing some uh, inflection here and so uh, it is it, it may be difficult to achieve this level uh, and may favor uh, dropping more uh, it looks like and that's what it's doing it's I'm close to now being stopped out see that 
So it looks like I'm going to be stopped out. Previously, what I would do is I'd hold it and just keep going down, down, down. And I would lose a bunch. Right? This one, I have a stop loss. Most likely, it's going to hit stop loss. I should have gone with the trend and uh, shorted, but I did not. Because it looked like here uh, the Dow was rebounding. But uh, it looked like Boeing has further further down. To, uh, yeah. It's gonna be stopped out. Okay, so I'm already down. I'm already down 50 right now. So it's it's gonna be it's a lost cause right there. I can already see it. See, it's close to the stop loss. It's not gonna rebound. See, I should have waited. I should have waited a little bit longer here because that's essentially where this window of uh, price stability is achieved before any inflection can occur because it's a Overly dramatic day, and that's going to cause me to lose some money right there. So that's a loss. Currently, it's 55. Yep. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. But most likely, I will lose 55 bucks. That's what's happening. Yep. Oh, might be 60. Is the stop loss working? Stop loss, to stop loss, right there, 60. It's gonna, it's gonna hit. Five more dollars and I'll hit 65. It's gonna hit five more dollars and I'll be uh, stopped, stopped out. That is why price, price discovery it's very, very important. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. There was a, there's a the, one of the founders talked about the trade that he made. Uh, I think it was like Friday, or, or maybe it was Thursday. He talked about how one of his stop losses missed by like four cents <laughs> on a on a three uh, on a two hundred dollar stock. <laughs> That's impressive. So I'm still waiting. My trade has not gone the other way yet. So far, I'm down 50. But it looks bearish, and it's going to hit that. Five more, it's going to be gone. Yep. It's going down. See, I should have waited until I saw some clear indication of the behavior of the stock. So the Dow essentially has achieved a lower low, which means it's even if it goes up a little bit, it's going to achieve a lower high, which means that it's still bearish. Here is a clear indication. Even if I bought somewhere between eight o'clock and nine o'clock, eight thirty and nine o'clock, I would have still made it all right. That's why, even though I miss it and I'm I'm on the inflection point rebound where the recovery occurs on the back side. Getting on the back side is better than being on the front side, where the front side may become a heavy loss. That's what that's what seems to be happening. That's the way that I've been trading. Uh, whenever I lost a significant portion of my uh, portfolio. So um, I could let it go, but it looks like. Looks like most likely I'm going to lose this trade. See, see how it's returning right there. So if I were to go forward, most likely it'll dip right here. Here we go. Here we go. Stop loss right there. Where's the stop loss? Stop loss right there. Stop loss should have kicked in. There we go. Okay, my trade has uh, lost. This seems to be a flag and the flag has breached, breached, and it's going to, it's looking like it wants to go down further. 
So where in the past I would lose like like several hundred bucks. Here, my stop loss has limited my loss to 70. That's still quite a bit, but that's far less than what I would normally lose. So now I'm looking for some other trade here. I'm not going to short here because it might rebound and just, <laughs> just cause a double whammy. So I'm going to watch a little bit and look for a signature. Okay, so I'm going to move it along a little bit. And you see that it re rebounded. It rebounded. So now I'm waiting for this time period right here. Let's see what happens back uh, then. It's recovered. Now it's coming back. See how it did that? If I waited here, that's where the flush occurred. Now it's coming back. And also the Dow has recovered and NASDAQ has recovered. And so looks like I may have missed it. Now this is what I call the front, the back side. So let's try that again, okay? So now I buy it again. And then what I'm going to do is set another stop loss with a hundred. Okay. So that's going to be uh, seven, seven point five, and this is going to be a stop loss. It's going to be uh, six twenty, which is going to be five seventy, five point seven, and that'll give me about roughly uh, two to one. So I'm in. Now it reached a VWAP and see, let's see what happens with at this point here. This is essentially a resistance. It might drop down. That's what, uh, that's what it looks like because the VWAP will uh, behave like a resistance. So when this trade goes up to here, I'll have a two to one, which means that I'll recover what I lost and then make a little bit. That's the whole idea. And once I become consistently profitable, I can just scale up. Do you see the logic behind this? This is the, isn't that quote great? So whatever I had one tra one trade, one uh, one um, trade value, I can make it into two trade value and double up whatever I make at the end of whatever the session there is. That's the whole idea of becoming consistent. Becoming consistent allows me to automatically just, 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 yeah, it just means that I can, I can go to a certain point of uh, increasing my trade size. That's it. So my uh, limit order is above this point, but this point is going to behave like a resistance right here. It's going to behave like a resistance right there. And so it may, I may not hit that point. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I'm projecting here and looking at what the trend is. Approximately at about 10 o'clock, if it moves in this direction, it's going to hit uh, my sell point. Uh, righty. So it is nearing this resistance level. And yesterday's, the previous day's support is here. Right there, you see that? That's a support. So it is possible, it is possible, but it may, it may be like this. See how it's rounding up right there? It is above the VWAP. It is turning out to be the Dow is actually pointing down. NASDAQ is going back up and VIX is going back up and most likely that's going to cause this to drop. 
and this curve may not be applicable. So this may be the point where, right there, see that? Okay. Um, this trade may not be working out. It might be dipping. Yep, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to lose again. It's going to stop me out again. See, that right there is bearish. Right there. That right there is bearish. Lose twice. That is bearish. That's why you gotta wait until I hear. That's when the possibility of uh, see right there. That could have been see. Look at that. That's resistance right there. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's it's down approximately. Wow. Okay, see that? That's why you gotta wait until here, right here, right here to get in. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a lot, twice, I lost twice. See, look at this, boom, 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 right there, see, it's, it's a, it's a bearish day. So when I see something like that, oh wow, look at that. Two trades lost. Two trades. Look at that. I bought it at 615 and sold it at 560. Uh, for the same contract. Wow. So it looks like a down day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try that again. All right. Now put another stop loss. So it's gonna be six fifty. Six fifty right there. Then okay, so that's gonna be that's gonna be six fifty. See if I can make that happen. Okay. And then make this a five one five point one okay it's gonna be a stop loss so here i've set it again trying for the third time and most likely it looks like it's not gonna get there today is a red day and it may just move sideways all day how it moves it may just end up but I this usually what Boeing does it recovers a little bit towards the close see now see that see that's gonna hit it that's gonna hit it that will hit it
Almost. Oh, three losses in a day, it looks like. It looks like I'm going to be experiencing three losses in one day. See how that works? See? Down and just go that way. So essentially, what happened was, it's currently at five, so essentially it went sideways since I bought it. That's what happens when I get into a stock that behaves this way. Okay. That's what it's like right there. She bought it right here, somewhere right here. I think it's possible to go uh, smaller. Okay. Right there. So what I would do, oh, so what I would do, most likely it'll, it'll close it out. And time to close my trade. Okay, so now let's uh, close it out. I'm going to manually close it out. Okay, there we go. It sold, so I made three trades, and two trades turned to be a loser. One of them uh, made about 30 bucks. So that's how it works. So essentially for the whole day, I lost about $93. That's the trade for today.